pretty much the creek used to flow just straight through there and these big logs had been pushed over up on the creek flat. The, the, the intention was to farm the country and then they discovered it was too stony. So we brought them down and there's been a lot of debris captured since by that's been trapped in them by floods. But the principle was to slow the water down here and then let it flow out that way and also through and over. And of course this comes back to the comments I was making earlier about in water flowing on top of water and dissipating energy. I've stood here when the, as the creek's risen and there is just a massive pool of water going back that way because this structure is holding and then you can see the activity as it's sort of falling on top of itself and, and becoming quite active. And the, we, Peter put about, I'm trying to remember, there's one, two, three, there's five or six trees in this structure laid along. And the aim is to eventually slowly build that, the whole lot up so that this becomes part of a chain of ponds extending back upstream. And the important, the important part in this structure is to know that like where this barrier of the tree trunks is made, they are anchored with the trees that are standing here. So that those logs across the valley, across this creek, they are holed up between those casherinas and trees. So then we can see all those logs, because if we don't have those support that the, that the, that the standing trees hold those logs in position, we get these rockets that can fly down the creek and do more damage than good. So it's very important always to find those anchoring points for big logs. To key them into the, to key them into the landscape. Yeah. yeah. So this is a very wide structure and very tall timber that was laying there as the barrier.